your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thanks for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're wrapping up a discussion of James chapter 1, verse 5. If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach. Verse 6 says, But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. Aimless motion, maybe a lot of motion, but it's aimless if we don't have a great faith, a courageous faith. There's a lot of people in the Bible that are examples of great faith. And when we look in Hebrews chapter 11, in verse number 34, we read about those who quenched the violence of fire. And when I think about that, I think about three Hebrew boys that had been given Babylonian names, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to bow down to the image of Nebuchadnezzar that he had, he had erected. And it was uh, the decree of Nebuchadnezzar that when the music played, everyone was to bow down to this gold image that Nebuchadnezzar had erected, and they refused to do it. And he comes to them, he says, I'm going to give you another chance at this, and don't get the idea that somehow you're going to escape this because of your faith in God, because there's no God that can, de can deliver you uh, from uh, this furnace. And notice what they said, the second part of verse 16, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. Verse 17, listen closely. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But I want you to notice the courage that these young men had. Verse 18, But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. We need to have that kind of courageous faith. We're not, going to, we're not going to follow the ways of the world. We're not going to think like the world. We're not going to do the things that the world does. And you know what? We believe with all our heart that the Bible says we'll have the best life possible. Now, the world may not understand that. At times, we may not understand that. But we're going to trust God and we're going to trust His Word no matter what. To take that kind of stand demands courageous faith. What a wonderful thing that we're able to look at these three young men as the, at their example and realize, you know what, if we want to understand life and really understand the meaning of life and have wisdom from God, we need to have that kind of courageous faith in our life. Thank you so much for being with us today. And join us next week for your daily 180 Bible study.